I love Tommy Fury, not because for his boxing skills. I love him for his brother, and I love him for being on Love Island. He's my favorite character on Love Island. I like his girlfriend too. Uh, but outside that, like I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not paying to watch him box. And that was the first time I've seen him box, and he has a shit ton of work to do. He he has a he has a longer way to go than Jake Paul. How crazy is that to say? His skill set is not as polished as Jake Paul. Not even close. Um, again, he went four rounds with T Rex, and it was just it was it was a bit of a shit show. It's a bit of, you know you're not you're not walking away from that being like that kid's a world beater. Uh -huh. He just has a, and he's young though too. He has a long ways to go, but. Um, I just don't, if I'm Jake Paul, you know, I, I know the whole thing is, oh, let's see him fight a boxer. Like I was at Starbucks morning, like, how do you think you're doing against Canelo? I'm like, just give me my fucking coffee. Um, but <clears throat> for him to check that box of fighting a boxer, if you're looking for the easiest opponent possible, it'd be Tommy Fury. But I just, you know, if you're trying to keep this momentum, I don't think that does it. I don't. Uh, a guy like Anderson Silva would. <sighs> when you think that, and that's the thing, I, I get nervous when I talk about Jake's next fight because it, it's really off to the races now, man. You're not going to fight another grappler who, you know, wants to do some striking with you because, you, you know, they didn't think you could box. Now, most of these guys, these MMA guys, these UFC alumni guys, or even their current UFC champs, um, even they won't say it, but you earned a little respect from them. They they know that you're not just this flash in a pan YouTuber Disney character who's just knocking out wrestlers. Like they saw that Woodley fight, went okay, guarantee you every single one went okay. Mm -hmm. So your next guy is not gonna the 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 cat's out of the box. The next guy is not gonna take you lightly, and the, his management has to be very careful on who, what opponent they choose because. You know, in this room, if you heard Anderson Silva, Jake Paul, where are you going? Did you see Anderson Silva versus Julio Cesar Chavez Jr.? Fuck, dude. You know how good Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. is at boxing? I mean, he grew up in diapers. His dad's literally the greatest Mexican boxer to ever put on gloves. He's a walking legend. He has a fucking statue in Mexico City. Even to this day, he sold out the most watched in person boxing match of all time that's his father man so he had a lot of pressure on him his dad's giving him tips um he sure as fuck not gonna fight julio chavez uh jr <sighs> and well it answers what did to him but again that was an exhibition fight uh, i'm pretty sure I would assume Julio Chavez Jr. and even his dad said something leading up to the fight. You know, his dad fought on the weird undercard where he had headgear on. That's whatever. Legends can do whatever the fuck they want. My him, Mike Tyson, they can fight with their nuts hanging out the back. I don't care. They've earned it. But his dad was like, Yeah, my son just didn't train. Like I told him to do camp with me and train like I do, and he just that's not what he does. He's lazy. So I think that's a matter of Julio Chavez Jr. not, not taking the fight serious and Dealing with a fucking technician, Ashton Silva, and he, he fucked him up, man. You know, he he put it on him. So I just think <clears throat> maybe, maybe Julio just didn't take it serious, and that's why that didn't go his way. But I just don't know what you do with Jake Paul. And the other thing is, a ton of people throw ideas at me all the time. You know, when I was in La Jolla, they're asking me, what, what if he fought McGregor? What about Nick Diaz? Nate Diaz? Mike Perry? Like, you guys are throwing all these UFC fighters at me. If a guy is associated with the UFC, like currently under contract, like Woodley was out of contract, Ben Askren out of contract. So those are easy deals to get done. If you touch a guy who's under contract, McGregor, the Nate Bros, Mike Perry, name anybody else you want, uh, Kamar Usman, Colby Covington, Darren Till, anybody who you want to see Jake Paul, Jake Paul fight. The only way that even moves an inch as if Dana gives him the okay, and Dana is therefore a partner in it. So it'd be a UFC Showtime production, which they've done with Connor and Floyd. But here's the thing, people. They hate each other. So it's going to be tough to get done. They fucking hate each other, okay? So it's going to be a tough deal to get done. But you know what They both of them like? What they do have in common? They love money. So uh, if you could somehow propose a huge payday for Dana and whichever fighter wants to take that fight, I think they would be all heirs because views are views, man. What's on Showtime, UFC, it's good for the business, the fight business.